You say that I'm the first Doesn't mean I'll be the last If you've got all the talent in the world That doesn't mean nothing If you're not disciplined and dedicated I've been a winner since a kid I don't, I don't like to lose my, my desire to win is, is more than anything When I enter the ring Defeat is not even nowhere near in my mind. I don't even think about I think about it sounds very bad and I always pray before getting the ring so that my opponent will be okay after the fight but I think I'm there to destroy my opponent, simple as this is my job. If I don't win, then I won't go to a place where I wanna be. You know, it's like boxing's like being in the jungle, eat or be eaten, if you know what I mean. So when I'm in that ring, all that hard work, all that running, all that dieting I'm not just going to let it slip, I'm going to destroy my opponent and get the victory. I've done something, I can't just fall off now, this is my life, I have to go on my journey. I can't stop and get a job, because I, c I couldn't. I'm letting a lot of people down, it's not only that, I'm letting myself down. My uncle Pat, he was a boxer, and um, it's something I've worked to do. I didn't take myself as serious in boxing because I thought, you know, if he wants to do it, he'll do it. And I didn't realise it till he was training for about a year and a bit, and then he said he wants to fight. And, uh, you know, once again, I didn't want to push him into it. I just wanted to do. And he was at the right age, really, when he started, because I think he was about 16, going on 17, and he started boxing. And um, he started doing remarkably well. You know, I've seen that he had a lot of natural talent, natural flair, because he's been around the gym since he's been nine years old, never took it serious. So for, for me to actually be with him now, it's, it's like um, he's, he's taking it to the point where He's taking it so seriously that he doesn't want to get beat. He doesn't like to lose. You know, he's taking everything on board, what he's being taught. Um, he's living the correct life. He starts to listen now, where before it was kind of like, he thought he was just good enough to just do what he wanted to do. My coaches are very strict, very, very strict. That brings the best out of you. If you haven't got no discipline in your trade or anything you do, then you won't give 100%. If you're going to do anything, you have to do it 100%. It's just another day. We're not, not, we're not going to do anything different. We're just going to try to make it better. And better and better. And better and better and better. That's it. The only reason why I'm strict is because they want the best for me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. My hardest part of my career is is now. I've just been signed to Frank Warren, now I'm on TV. I can't afford to be making no mistakes. I can't afford to be getting hit with silly shots. So training camp is very hard. When people watch boxing on TV, they don't see this behind you know, the doors work. So now I'm going through hell, you know what I mean? I'm sparring, fresh opponents. I'm not getting my rest in the middle of the round. So the training camp's hard now. People that knew my uncle as a boxer back in his heyday, the pressure's on now because they were no expects either good or better, if you know what I mean. And that's down to me to train hard, discipline, dedicate my life to become that product that, don't get me wrong, my uncle achieved a lot, but I want to achieve better than him. If, and he wants me to achieve better than him. I was um, 16 when I started boxing. Um, 16 going on 17. I uh, turned pro by the age I was 19 and won the British title at 21. So my career was very quick. Everything I've seen, I, I learned a lot quick and it went quick and it also finished quick. Believe it or not, see my mum, she's um, she goes on like she doesn't even fear nothing. Like, she's cool as hell. She might just put on a nap. But she always tells me, if you don't knock him out, you're not getting your Sunday dinner. So like, I don't know. I, she, make, she must put on a brave act, a very brave act, but she's the one who motivates me more, like, come on, do that run, or... So, she's not like, no some mums that they put their hands over the face because they can't watch the kids fight. My mum's not like that. Believe it or not, I could hear mum while I'm in the ring. I thrive off it because it gets me excited when he's fought and he's actually won. And even though Zelf is my son, I still don't fear of him fighting because I know he can protect himself. The reason why I don't give up, for the reason, because of my brother and my arm. I never give up. Never. This, and plus, this is my job. When everything gets hard in the ring, I just look at my arm and think, this is nothing. He's there every fight. He's watching, he's watching over me, he's walking out with me. He's with me everywhere, so it gives me that strive to think, I'm doing it for him. It's not just my
Manchester, now I'm famous. I was gonna wild out bare face, but I can't now. I got status. I was in the papers. I was in the MEN and it was blatant. Seems like the whole thing came back to bite me. There's no way of saying this bit politely. I feel like quitting the game and making man's body turn icy, but I don't wanna talk no more. Roots Radix is a collective of artists coming together to build an independent record label. That the Fugees, that are people you've seen individually or as a collective, we are family. 